Hi, my name is Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the phase of a waxing crescent phase under the astrological sign of Scorpio. This reading is for Aries. Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Aries. Oh, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what's the message for Aries? We're looking for a love message, Holy Spirit. What's going on with love for Aries in October 2022? October 2022, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Love, Holy Spirit, what's the love message? What's the love brief? What's the update for Aries in March this fall? Aries. Oh, Aries. So, okay. Anything else? Okay, that's it. These two fell first. Ooh. Okay, so Spirit told me to put the cards like this, Aries. And we're starting with unrequited love. For me, unrequited love is when you're showing your attention to somebody, but they don't even recognize it. They're not interested. They're really preoccupied with something else. That's unrequited love. Like when you're ready to give love, the recipient doesn't want to receive it. It's like they turn your cup of love over. So I don't know who this has happened for, Aries, or how you're involved, but something unrequited love is a issue in October. Somebody is giving more and they're not receiving. So things are unbalanced, right? And um, I think this causes a disconnection in the relationship. It's almost like a twin flame reading where there's a chaser and a runner. And the chaser eventually gets tired of chasing. So, you know, if you keep showing affection and love to somebody and they turn you away, um, you disconnect. And so that's what I feel. Somebody is disconnecting in October. Um, they're, they're letting go. They're letting God. Um, they're allowing things to just happen naturally. You know, no manipulation, no control, no running after somebody. Giving it over to the universe and just letting things happen in divine timing. And I think that your whole approach, Aries, has led you to a point where if and when love comes along, you're going to make the gesture. But you're not going to have expectations this time. You know, you'll you'll make the gesture or if somebody makes a romantic gesture towards you, you're going to respond in kind, in like, because you're never going to find yourself in an unrequited love unless you are the person who's not giving, but you're not going to find yourself too long in a situation that's not giving to you. Yes. That's, that's what I get. You know, if this person cannot give to you equally as much as you're giving to them, then you're going to disconnect and keep moving. I think this is your mantra in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, relationships are very important. 
Why? Because you have the Four of Wands. It's like you're, you've are you matured. Something's changed here in October. Like the switch was flicked on. And you're very much aware of balance in a relationship. Of an equal give and take. Of the importance of somebody. Uh, look at that. Knight of Swords reverse. And the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely. I definitely feel like this unrequited love situation in the past is what made you aware of how valuable you are. How beautiful you are inside, outside. How you're not going to tolerate somebody not acknowledging your love. You're not. And relationships are very important. It's like you're paying attention. And as soon as somebody is not reciprocal, it's not reciprocal, it's time to disconnect. It's like you're not going to fight. You're not going to chase. You know, it just has to come from the heart. has to flow naturally with you in October. Yeah. What else, Spirit? The disconnection, right? Five of Wands. Reverse. It's like you want no drama. No drama. Nobody who's playing games. Manipulating. It's like, it's a hard stop for you. Mm. There you go. Yeah, because they threaten the healing that you've accumulated thus far, Aries. And anybody who comes with any games and manipulation, disturbing your peace, threatening your healing, um, you're going to disconnect. Four of Cups, absolutely. You're cutting them loose and um, moving on. Mm -hmm. No grass is growing under your feet. Tell me about let go of control issues naturally, Holy Spirit. Yeah, when you let go and let God, all the confusion is taken out. All options coming your way, you're, you're able to have some insight on their purpose, what's their intent. You know, when you allow the situation to unfold naturally, people approach you, you have a lot of options that approach you, but you're able to spot those who are jealous, who are envious, who bring you drama who uh, have mental health issues. You're just not, in October, you just don't want no drama. Don't bring you no bad news. Don't bring you, look at this, letting go of control issues. It's like you're not holding on to anything in October. And this almost starts a new cycle for you, a new way of thinking, a new way of reacting, a new way of controlling your life. You know, you realize you can't control other people in October, but just by you taking control of yourself, you do control them. You control how they interact with you. Mm. Okay, what else, Spirit? Tell me about Aries expressing their love in October. Seven of Wands. Okay. Yeah, you know, you have really gone through it. I think that this person that poured your cup of love out really hurt you. Um, and as a result of this hurt, there's almost like you vowed that you wouldn't let this happen again. And so you realize you have options in October where love is concerned. And your biggest objective in October, I see, is to just be you. Be you and, you know, if somebody attracts your attention, you're going to make the, the gesture the gesture and communicate and get to know them. You're, you're kind of open, going with the flow, I see. But um, if somebody brings you drama, you cut it quickly 
and uh, focus, refocus on your healing and what you want. You realize that when you turn situations over to spirit, the confusion is taken out. You're able to spot mental health issues with people or, you know, just people that you don't want to deal with because you're not aligned. And um, you let go of that. I just see you letting go, disconnecting from anything that's not serving you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this unrequited love because it had quite an impact on you. It really hurt you and it's, it's what made you vow to ensure that people coming into your life are reciprocal when it comes to loving you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, these are healthy boundaries. King of Cups, Reverse, Seven of Wands, right? This is all about someone not showing you how important you are. Yeah, you're the emperor, you know, and you are very valuable. You're beautiful. You're beautiful inside. You're beautiful outside. So I see you exuding that type of energy there you go you have the strength card right leo could be involved scorpio pisces cancer aries sag mm -hmm. but yeah this person that kind of poured your cup out is what made you become introspective about love and figuring out how you're going to deal with people who don't reciprocate your affections. And you grew healthy boundaries as a result of this, you know, uh, maintaining your courage, your confidence in yourself. Like I said, you're the emperor. So you realize when people don't show you the kind of love that you deserve that you are capable of loving you and loving you involves you disconnecting mm. tell me about it yeah the wheel the wheel is here every time that you disconnect and prepare for a new cycle the direction your path you know, when you disconnect from things that no longer serve you, from games and manipulations, you get such clarity on your calling. When you're alone, that's when God has the ability to speak to you through your intuition. Yes, King of Swords. See, you get the clarity right away. And so the when the wheel appears... Especially in this situation, it lets you know that something better, something more fortunate awaits you. Don't worry about what happened in the past. Your calling is becoming clearer. Your your goals, your objectives, your direction, your path. All of that comes in with clarity when you disconnect from the drama. From anybody who threatens your healing. From opportunities that don't serve you. Mm hmm. Yeah, you want something more with the Four of Swords. Very contemplative in October, thinking about um, your love life and just allowing things to happen naturally. Like you don't want to manipulate anything. If it's not given to you freely, then you don't want it. Absolutely. You want someone who feels the way about you that you feel about them. Yeah. Somebody who can show you how they feel. With the Prince of Swords, you don't want anybody standing behind anything. You know, you want them to be up front and to be able to show you. And for things just, you know, you two to have a natural flowing, like a friendship that develops into something more. Yeah, you're looking for set love. You're not playing here. Mm -hmm. And this was a revelation. What was a revelation, Moody? Well, Aries, it was a revelation that you control yourself. And through controlling yourself, you control the way other people deal with you, right? When you control yourself, right, and remove all the drama, etc., they can only do but so much. But that frees you up 
it allows you to not focus on what you have no control over, right? That's what allows you to move forward with the chariot. Absolutely. And you continue to move forward in October. Um, you, you're like on a mission, you know, you're like a magnet. You want to only attract those who are attracted to you. And that's where you think this reciprocity is going to come in. And that's correct. That's correct. You're just like, you're not running or chasing anybody. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lovers. Yeah, you're not fighting with the Ten of Swords. So as you move forward, because you're letting go, and you're letting God, and um, the world is here, the wheel is here, the strength card is here, you have the star is here, you have a lot of major arcanas. And so this October, under this waxing crescent moon, you, you know, and the waxing crescent moon energy is about refocus. Um, change with all the major arcanas, major change that solidify your position as the emperor. You know, the emperor is able to figure stuff out quickly and maneuver based on what they've just learned and make quick decisions that keep them ahead of the game. That's what I feel for you in October and, and definitely when it comes to love. And because you've mastered this, because you are the emperor, I see that options come to you, but you're not confused. You you know who to go with and who not to go with because you are listening to your intuition. You're open. You're receptive. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me more, spirit. Okay. Sorry. Let me just push my camera up a little. Yes. Tell me more for Aries. October, what else? Oh. Mm. You know, this past person that didn't give you the love you deserve. You might have stayed with them uh, longer than you should have. You might have allowed them really to make you feel unworthy in some way. Why do I say that? Because part of you, Spirit is saying, needs to for forgive yourself um, and accept what happened. I'm not sure of the details here with this past love, but somehow... You had to stay in this situation long enough to get the strength and courage to move forward, to realize you're much more valuable than what you were given. And for that time that you endured, I guess, their lack of love, Spirit just wants you to forgive yourself and give yourself grace to make mistakes. You know, Aries, you are so... You don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to make mistakes. You don't want... Um, any errors, but we all are human. We all make mistakes from time to time. That's another thing Spirit wants you to know. What else for Aries, October? Yeah, you're looking for somebody who treasures your relationship and honors it because that's what you bring you know you're very genuine you don't even give it the time of day unless you mean it so you want somebody who feels like you who's ready to honor and cherish the relationship who's going to make it sacred a priority because you know what when you love you love deep you love hard, Aries. You give it all. You give it your all. And so, yes, you deserve that back. Because your love is as deep as the ocean. And you want somebody who can match you. Who can meet you where you are. And that's right. That is absolutely right. 
The past is behind you. This unrequited love, release it. And you've got a slew of new possibilities. There's no confusion because you, you're, the wheel is here. You're on a new path. And, you know, you know that if you let go and let God, everything works out in your favor. Because you've been here before where you've had to have faith that good things were going to come to you. And I see that they're coming to you. I sure do. Can we sum this up for Aries, Holy Spirit? Can we sum this up? October Yeah, you step right into your power. Uh, you don't let this hold you back in any way. And the cycle changes and new things begin to come. That's what I see. Yeah, you start to receive what you're waiting for. Because with this Four of Swords that you had here, where's the Four of Swords? Right here. Yeah. Through the prayer and meditation and contemplation, the end of October, in the near future, you start to receive everything that you wanted, you know, and you're open, you're ready for it, you're vulnerable, but you're not blind. <laughs> you're open, but you can see games and manipulation a block away in October. It's like, and you, you just divert totally divert definitely by summer by next summer you're probably in a relationship it's strong it's striving and um it's like i really feel you're ready you're over this and you've learned a lesson you've set new boundaries and new relationships come in this is a great reading it's like you know you triumph in the end and so that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. You know, tell me about how you made it through this unrequited love. And if some of you are at the point where you're building your confidence and courage back, um, and you're kind of letting go, tell me about your experience with that. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you all. And for those of you who still are doing research, check out your other signs in your birth chart. And Aries, until the next moon phase, namaste.